Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnival of Creativity. So today's DIYs are going to be plant pot up cycles. So this is great if you've got a bunch of old plant pots lying around and you just want to give them a little bit more pizzazz, you know, upgrade the plant's homes because they they like pretty homes too guys, come on. <laughs> As always, if you like these DIYs, please make sure to subscribe and without further ado, let's just hop right into it. So for this first plant pot, you want to grab your plant pot and some contact paper. I'm just using some white sticky back contact paper and a nail polish bottle to make an even scallop design. Once you've drawn this the whole way along your contact paper, long enough to go around the whole circumference of the pot, you want to cut it all out. After this, simply peel off the backing and stick it to the top portion of your plant pot. Um, you may have to adjust how the scallops lie and how far down they are due to the taper of your pot if this is affected by you. And I had to add an extra scallop so that it would go around the whole circumference. But once you have completely done this, You want to grab another piece of sticky back plastic with a straight edge and stick this down at the bottom of the scallops as you can see here. Now that you've done this you want to take whatever paint you're going to use. This half I used spray paint and spray painted it gold before leaving it to dry and then peeling off all of the sticky back plastic. Then I restuck the scallop patterned plastic underneath trying to line up the circles as much as possible and this did mean creating some pleats and some of the scallops due to again the taper of the pot but once you have completely stuck this down you also want to stick your straight piece back on to cover the gold scallops that you have just created and for these bottom scallops I decided to use an Ali Sloan chalk paint but honestly any paint would do as long as it's going to adhere to this surface whether it be acrylic spray paint or chalk paint or whatever paint you've got really so once it's fully wrapped round, you are ready for painting and I just used a sponge dabber to dab on this light pink shade of chalk paint. And then once done, as done previously, you just want to wait for this to thoroughly dry before peeling off all of the sticky plastic and you are done. And I think this design looks super effective. For the second pot, you want to grab some more sticky back plastic. This is more just to protect it. As for this design, I used an embossing gun and an embosser and didn't want to risk getting any um, embossing powder where I didn't want it. Then I marked out um, some triangular points with my pen on the pot and on the um, plastic before going in with my embossing pen and using a stamp as a ruler and then covering this V by V I guess with the embossing powder scraping off the excess with a um, dry paintbrush to create thin delicate lines and then embossing this with the embossing gun 
and repeating this step all the way around the pot until you have a zigzag design. I opted to only do this on the bottom portion instead of make it into diamonds um, but you could definitely do that as well. And then I took some silver textured contact paper, cut off a strip of this and wrapped it round the bottom bit of my pot as this went further in and I wanted to celebrate that dimension of it. And there we are. For the last plant pot, all I did was cut another strip of contact paper, then using a craft knife and cutting board, I cut a long strip out of the contact paper. Again, you want to make sure this is long enough to go around the whole circumference of your pot and then also use my cutting knife to cut out leaf shapes on an angle um, tapered against each side so that they match all the way down the stem branch so to speak. Once you've done this you want to cut off all of the ends and stick this on your plant pot. Again, you're gonna need to put some creases in some places to make it look even, just because of the taper on the pot, unless you're lucky enough to find a nice straight pot. But you want to go in and make sure this is thoroughly stuck down to the pot, and then either use acrylic paint or spray paint, depending on what you've got, and just use it like a stencil I guess and paint in there. I used again another sponge dabber and just dabbed the paint all the way through as I didn't want to risk any bleeding under the contact paper as some of the edges weren't stuck down very well because of the creases and cleats in the contact paper but this worked really really well and then you just want to leave it to dry before peeling off the contact paper. And there we are. Thanks for watching these videos guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, there are so many different ways to um, make over these sorts of plant pots. You can buy them so so inexpensively. One of the ones that I got in this um, DIY video I actually got for free from a local thrift store. So make sure to have a look in the trash shops and things like that because you can really pick up some steals like the other two I got for 25p and I think 50p. So yeah, bargain. <laughs> If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!